Hi everyone, Kyle Demas here from Open Alex. I'm really excited today to be giving a demo of the Works Magnet, which is essentially a way that you as users of Open Alex can help provide information to us on how we can better match our affiliation data to institutions. Before I go into that, I quickly wanna show this slide. If you've seen one of my presentations before, you've seen this, but basically every time we get new works indexed to Open Alex, we get what we call affiliation strings. And here are just a few examples of what those look like. Um, for the University of British Columbia. You can see there's a lot of information in these strings that contains the university name as well as a lot of other things. And um, right now we have to algorithmically sort through to figure out what the university name is and then try and match it to a known institution name in ROAR. And you can see that's not always easy. For instance, in the middle one, we have the wrong city for, for Vancouver, but it was the city that the author lived in. So they put that. Um, and our algorithm has to go through and try and match those two to ROAR IDs. Um, and it's not perfect. It does a really great job, actually, in most cases, but it's not perfect. And then you as users are now able to submit suggestions to help improve that, thanks to what's called the Works Magnet, developed by our friend Eric Jean Girard at the French Higher Education and Research Ministry, and I'm really excited to demo that here for you. Uh, you can see the website at the top, just works-magnet.dataesr.ovh. And, and that's how you get to, to Works Magnet. We'll put a link at the bottom of this video so that you can find it more easily. The way this looks um, is, is very simple, uh, but it's very powerful. There's a lot of things you can do with it. I'm only gonna focus on a couple of use cases today. The major one being how you can use this tool to help curate open analysis uh, affiliation data. So you see here, there's a search bar. Here you can enter an affiliation name or a ROAR identifier. Um, and then you can change sort of the years depending upon how large your data set is to make this simpler. I've chosen two use cases from Canada that I think have confusing names that the algorithm can't always get, get right to give you as examples. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. The first one is Concordia University of Edmonton. Um, and there's actually several Concordia universities and there's one that's Concordia University of Edmonton. So I'm picking this as an example. This is a smaller institution, so I, I don't have to limit it. Maybe I'll say to, to 2010 on this one. Um, and I'm just going to hit enter, and you'll see this is now what it's going to be searching. You can add multiple texts here. So I could also do university in Edmonton. Um, so you can have several things that you're searching at once. For now, I'm just going to put uh, this name and hit search. And you'll see it's, it's thinking right now. What it's actually doing is searching the Open Alex database for that raw affiliation string data field to see what matches Concordia University of Edmonton. And it's already populated. It was actually much quicker than, than I thought it might be. And you'll see these are a few of the different use cases that you can do with the Works Magnet. We're just going to focus on this first one on the left, which is how you can improve our ROAR matching in Open Alex. Um, so I'm going to click on that. And this is essentially what it looks like. You've got this table where you have the Open Alex raw affiliation string. And then the next column is the ROAR as we matched it. And then you have the ability to edit that ROAR and, and, and improve it. Um, and then on the, on the far right, you have example works of the DOI. So the first thing I want to point out, you can see Concordia University of Edmonton, we have matched this to a ROAR. And if you're not sure what the ROAR number is, you can always at any point just go to roar.org forward slash search. I'm going to type in Concordia University Edmonton. Um, and you'll see it's giving me this ROAR number. So I'm just going to have that handy, but 04013RX15. And that's what the, the first couple are. So these were successfully matched. And I'm just going to quickly scroll through and see if there's any that did not match to that ROAR. Um, you can see these are actually pretty good. It looks like most of these matched. So I'm going to show you one other feature in here that can help refine this. Within the search that you have already, you can add additional searches. So I know there's another Concordia in Montreal. Um, I know there's another Concordia University in the United States. Um, so maybe I'll do United States and just see. OK, great. Um, so you can see the Michelin School of Management, um, Faculty of Management, Concordia University of Edmonton was the string. But this time we've actually matched it to a different ROAR record. Um, and you can see that ROAR record here. If I click this, it's going to open um, the Concordia University in Portland, US. So this is one that needs to get fixed. And to do that, I'm just going to go back and get the correct ROAR record. I'm going to copy that. 
Um, and then over here, I'm going to use this edit button. And I'm going to copy and paste the new one over that and just hit OK. And you can see now there's a modified by user correction thing that's very large. Really important point here, you should really double check these. We will go through a verification process on our end, but it makes everything much easier if you do a really careful job when you're editing this part. If there's multiple ROR's in there that we've matched to a string, make sure when you're separating with the comma that you're just replacing the one that should be replaced or you're adding a new one with a comma or you're deleting one. Um, just to give you an example to make sure that you actually have the right one, if I click on this DOI before I submit this, Belt and Road Initiative, uh, if I click on this author, you can see this is the Concordia University of Edmonton. So this is the university that I thought should be and not the one that was matched. So I feel good about confirming that. Um, and from here, I'm just going to, for now, hit uh, send feedback to, to open outs. When you do this, it's, it's telling you that I'm only submitting one raw affiliation string, but to put in your email. So I'm gonna put Kyle at our research.org. Don't worry, this is not going to be made public. Um, this is going to go to a GitHub site with a whole bunch of uh, recommendations for us to fix, but your uh, your username or your uh, sorry your email will not be on there. Instead, there will be a unique identifier, but this is for us at Open Alex to be able to contact you with further questions about it if we need that. So I'm going to hit send feedback to Open Alex. You can see it's already been saved. I'm just going to click on this link so you can see what it looks like on the other end. Now you can see there's 2,056 open uh, queues. And this is something that we've just started rolling out. We're really excited about it, um, but there's already been a lot of interest in it. And you can see this is what I submitted. So if I click on that, you can see there's correction needed. It's got the, the new ROAR, the previous ROAR that needs to be fixed, uh, the works that that affects. So those are the two publications that have those DOIs on the right. And then um, the, the, the contact. Okay, so that's one example, but another example I want to show is actually starting not with the um, searching a string, but instead searching for the, an actual ROAR ID. So I'm going to go back into ROAR and I'm going to find um, University of Western Ontario, which has had many different names over the years, but I'm going to use this ROAR ID to show you what happens when you do that. This is a larger university, so for the sake of this demo, I'm just gonna change this to 2024. I'm gonna put this in, and now you see it's not just populated the ROAR ID, but it's also populated all of the names from the, the ROAR record. So it's populated these as well um, for as things to search. There is another feature here that you can get the children from ROAR. So I think Western hasn't mapped these, but many universities have mapped children or sub-affiliations. And if you click that, it will populate all those. For now, I'm just going to hit this and hit search works. I mentioned that this is a little bit of a uh, bigger university, so this might take another moment. Again, it's still pretty quick. Um, but if you are doing this at the scale of your whole university and you're at a large university, you want to do multiple years, this could take a few moments to load. Um, but in this situation, I want to first go back and see what the, um, the roar for Western was. It was 02GRKYZ14. Okay, so when I go back to that works magnet, oh, you can see the first one is not that. So Western University, London, Ontario, this one was correctly matched. This is good. Um, but this first record, Western University, has actually been mapped to something called Western Caspian University. I'm just going to click to open that ROAR record. Okay, this is probably not the university. Uh, so this is this is good. So you can see Western Caspian University uses an alias Western University. So sometimes that makes it hard for our algorithm to uh, differentiate. But just to confirm that uh, I, I am looking at the right university, I'm just going to click on these DOIs. And it's going to go to the, the landing page for the works. So I can just confirm which university it's actually talking about sure why that one's taking so long. Maybe I'll load the other one. Okay, so you can see this is the Canadian Neurological Association Journal. All of the metadata here just says Western University. So that is probably our Western University, not the Caspian one, especially since this is in a Canadian journal. Um, so I feel good that, uh, 
that I can submit that. And so the way that I'm gonna do that here is again, just I had copy and pasted the, um, the ROAR ID for Western University, and I'm gonna hit okay, hit the correction and send this feedback to, um, send this feedback to OpenAlice, our research network. Okay, I hope this is really helpful. We're really excited about this. I do just want to say, you know, who, huge kudos to to Eric Jean Girard for developing this. This is something that we know people need all around the world, um, and and we're really excited to start getting feedback from you on your affiliations. As always, don't hesitate to reach out, and um, we'll look forward to hearing from you. Okay, take care.